Do you ever use the dictation function on your phone? In this week's episode, I'm going to show you Draft's amazing dictation feature that you may not have used yet. Hello and welcome to another episode of Working With Drafts. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I'm going to show you Drafts Dictation. Now the beauty of Drafts Dictation is not only how powerful and useful it is, it's also part of the free version of Drafts. Like I said last week, I promised you I would do a free feature this week. Well, this week's feature is completely free and I can't wait to show you this because Drafts dictation is something that I use more and more and more every time I use drafts. It is so convenient, so accurate, and I just love using it. So just before we go into drafts though, I would like to say if you do get any value from this, if, I, if what I show you this week really resonates with you and you find it so useful, please do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, ooh, please subscribe. Okay, let me get you straight into drafts this week and show you Drafts 5 Dictation. Right, so here we are in Drafts window and what we are going to do is show you how to do the dictation. Now before I go into the how to use the dictation, what I need to explain is that on your iOS device, if you use the built-in dictation function, you've got about 45 seconds before it automatically shuts off. Now this is done for privacy reasons. It protects you from accidentally dictating or your phone listening to what you're saying so it's an automatic cutoff but in drafts what what the developers have done is they've overrided the 45 seconds so you can actually carry on dictating for a minute or two minutes or three minutes it's entirely up to you so to um, to en engage the dictation function you're going to have to hit the microphone icon with the word new it's roughly in the middle of the keyboard there now I should explain that when you do this for the first time it's going to ask you for access to your microphone so you're going to have to go through all that rigmarole first but once you've got it set up what you can do is hit new and then you can start dictating full stop now you have to use the same syn syntax that you would use when using the normal iOS dictation function but that's probably something you are used to anyway. Full stop. New paragraph. I love the way this works because it is so fast and pretty accurate. Full stop. Once you've finished... <laughs> I'm going to hit create. Once you've hit... Once you've finished, you hit the word create, which is down at the bottom right. I did that so it didn't carry on dictating. So once you've got it, now you've got the text where you can now send it off wherever you want to send it. I can send it to Task in Todoist, New Note in Evernote. I can send wherever I want to do it. I can even send it as an email. But that's not all. Let's bring up the, uh, the keyboard again. You also have another feature related to the dictation, which is on my device here, it's right at the far right. It's called the microphone icon and insert. So let's just bring down a new paragraph. What I'm going to do is I'm going to insert some more text, but this time I'm going to use a foreign language. I'm going to use the language that I'm learning at the moment, which is Korean. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the insert and down at the bottom where it says English United Kingdom, I'm going to hit that and I'm going to look for Korean. As you can see, I've got Korean at the top. Now, you've actually got a load of languages down there. And I know many of you watching this episode do speak many different languages. The one I'm looking for is Korean, which is at the top because I've used it before. I'm going to hit the Korean and we're going to start. And you see that the text has actually changed. Now, this does not make sense because I'm speaking in English. <laughs> but watch this. 한국에서 17년째 영어로 가르치기로 있고요. 한국에 오기 전에는 영국에서 변호사로 일했습니다. 하지만 답답한 사무실에서 일하는 게 적성에 맞지 않아서 진지한 고민 그때 한국에서 1년 동안 영어로 가르치기로 결심했습니다. I'm going to hit create. 
and that's now going to add that into my actual um, text. Now, I, I'm trying to have a look at where I started that from. I started that from here, so I can just delete all this bit here because that's does not make any sense at all. So I get rid of that. Um, so boom, 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 boom. There we go. Just get rid of that. And now I have <coughs> Korean text in there, uh, which when I'm checking it now, actually is quite accurate. Now it's not perfect because I'm not a native Korean speaker, but it has probably got about 80 to 90% of that correct. So you can change the language whenever you're speaking. Uh, you can do all sorts of things with that. Remember, you've got the insert, so you can continue with a text. You can go into your uh, inbox and you can just continue dictating if you have to stop halfway through. And you can create new note by just hitting the new and it's going to bring in a new note. It is a fantastic feature in drafts. And like I promised last week, I did say I would cover a free version, a free feature this week. This is completely free. It's part of the free package of, of drafts. So I think this is just another one of those reasons why you should be using drafts on your iOS devices. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching this episode. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you for watching this video. Now, if you want to take your productivity to a higher level, then get yourself enrolled in my 2019 edition of Your Digital Life 2.0 online. It is a complete, comprehensive productivity and time management course. And it's a course that will take you to levels of productivity you have only ever dreamt of before. It shows you how to build your very own COD system, collect, organize, and do. It shows you how to create the folder structure, how to build into your, your goals, into your daily to-do list. It has everything. And not only that, you will get a free copy of Your Digital Life 2.0, the book. You also get a free workbook and you get access to all the slides that are used in the course. It is incredible value. I want to see you in that course. If you are serious about becoming productivity, then please join me in Your Digital Life 2.0, the 2019 edition. Thank you very much for watching this video.